glory glory hallelujah praise god good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are hearing me from this beautiful saturday morning happy weekend to you and i'm sure you are excellent and you are full of glory my name is Bolani Olukoride, and i'm your host on this channel where we read rhapsody aloud Rhapsody of Realities is written by Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome, DSC, DSC, DD. Today is 7th of September 2024, and Pastor is sharing with us today the Holy Spirit convicts the world. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word is true. And it is true at all times, in all things. Thank you because it's true in the lives of my hearers today, even as we hear the word of God. The word of God is doing exactly what it talks about. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. The Holy Spirit convicts the world. Pastor took his text from John chapter 16, verse 8. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. This is what he will do. The world of sin, the world of righteousness and of judgment. He will reprove them. He will reprove them. It's praise God. The Lord Jesus made a statement above in one of the last meetings he had with his disciples before he was crucified. During the long teaching, which started in the 13th chapter, he told them he was going away and the disciples were puzzled. Then he said, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. That's in John chapter 14, 16 to 17. In subsequent verses, he told them who the comforter is. He said about the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. That's in verse 26 of the same John chapter 14. This was the same person he was referring to in chapter 16 when he said and when he is come he will reprove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment what did he mean by this statement the word reprove is translated from the greek word elegiko which means to convict or to convince this is the work of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus preached, many didn't believe, even though certain individuals believed and received miracles, the people generally didn't believe. The Bible says, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. They weren't convicted. Why? Because the Holy Spirit hadn't been poured out on the people. Wow. But Jesus said when the Holy Spirit comes, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Today, men are being convicted in their hearts, convinced when they hear the word of God, because the Holy Spirit has been poured out. You see, it's the Spirit of God that is causing men to believe. He's the one. He's the one that is working in their spirits. He's the, the one that is responsible for them to reason the word of God when they hear it. How important the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Praise God. Hallelujah. The reason you are convinced that Jesus is the Son of God, even though you haven't seen Him 
is because the Holy Spirit brought that revelation to your spirit. It wasn't a man that convinced you. The Holy Spirit did that in your heart. You believe because he helped you to believe. That's exactly what it is. No one can believe. No one that Bible says in um, um, the Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, it said, with the heart man believes. He didn't say with our brain. So it's the Spirit of God that works in our hearts. He made us to reason it, you know, beyond our normal way of reasoning. Suddenly, you just believe. You just believe the Word of God. You just believe this must be true. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. That is why when you go out to win souls, It's important to do so by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's the one who convicts the people. He convinces those listening to you and makes them believe. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are not doing this, what we are doing by our own might. We are not just because we can speak English or we think we are eloquent. No. Even Apostle Paul said, he said he didn't come to to the people with the human wisdom. It's not in the eloquence of his speech. No. He said it's by the power of the Holy Ghost. He's the one that causes men. You just say, ah, but that guy was notorious. But just one message. In fact, more, at times, some of them got born again on their own. When I mean on their own, Maybe they receive the absolute of realities. As they are reading, the Spirit of God is at, at work. It caused them to, 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 to believe. How did the Holy Spirit have to go to, so to say, bad person? It's holy, right? That is why we pray. That's why we pray. We pray for souls of men. We pray and there's a conviction in their spirits. When they share us or when the opportunity of the gospel is presented to them that's why we pray that is the ministry of the holy spirit in our lives that's why we intercede for the for the souls around the world so when occasion arises spirit of god just you know we already gives him the 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 avenue or the um, free hand to walk. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it's not in our conviction. It's not because we preach a powerful message, you know. It's the Spirit of God that is convincing, convincing and convicting souls of men. Even you that you're born again. It's still the work of the Holy Spirit. It's one that is causing you to believe. You just believe the scriptures. You believe. The Bible said that no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit of God. He's the one. He's the one that convinces and convicts people all over the world. Praise God. So I bring to you, I present to you today. If you are hearing me today and you are not born again yet, I present to you the opportunity of the gospel. I present to you the life of God in human life, in human human body. This life is the only life that has that we know that we not know death. Say, but some other die. It's by choice. It's not today's matter. Praise God, because the life you receive is the quality of life that God Himself has. Praise God. It is called eternal life. And once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this life is impacted to your spirit. And you begin to live a victorious life in Christ Jesus. Once you are ready, I am ready too. And I will lead you in salvation, the Bible way. All you need to do is to say, believing in your heart, this prayer believe in it 
and it will happen. Say, oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you said that prayer, congratulations. Thank God the Spirit of God is at work in you. He's the one that is at work in you. And I welcome you specially to the family of God. I want you to right away download this book. The name is called Now That You Are Born Again. The, the website and the promo code is showing. Download it. It's written by Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. This book will start teaching you immediately the life you have received and you have more information about this eternal life. I want to hear from you today. Just send me a WhatsApp chat. I got born again today. I want to rejoice with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we can take the prayer together today. Let's take today's prayer together. Say, Dear Father, thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit around the world today. As your children proclaim the gospel everywhere, our listeners are convinced and converted. There's a great harvest of souls into the kingdom today. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead and pray concerning this. Intercede for souls that your colleague, that's your family member, anyone that's in your mind right now, and those that you meet today, declare that the Spirit of God is working in them and is convicting and convert, causing them to be converted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, pray for all souls all over the world today. They will hear the word of God and they will receive the gospel according to our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, yes, Master, Spirit of God is converting and convicting and convert, convincing them, oh God, even to hear and to believe. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. I give you praise. There's so many joy, joy in the kingdom of God today. As many souls are coming. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of today's episode. Go ahead today and win a soul. Talk to someone about the love of God today. Even if you don't know what to say, talk about yourself. How God has been faithful to you and how you have received the gospel of, you know, the eternal life. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'll see you tomorrow again. Keep spreading the good news everywhere. God bless you.